There is a huge mess behind me and it can only mean one of two things. One, I'm decluttering my wardrobe or two, I am packing for a trip. And yes, you are correct <laughs> by the title of this video. I am going to be doing a pack with me. For five days in Punta Cana, I am leaving tomorrow. So this is kind of haphazardly put together, I'm not gonna lie. But hopefully this will be an entertaining video. Also, I'm holding on to the mic right now because it's refusing to attach to my shirt for some reason. It's because this shirt is very flimsy and it just won't stay on. So I'm just going to be doing this the entire video. So sorry if that bothers you, but this is the best I can do. Usually I am the most chaotic packer because I do not pre-plan my outfits or anything that I'm gonna be bringing on the trip until literally the night before. And it is such a bad habit that I am trying to break. I'm gonna count this one as a win because I started packing way early in the day instead of procrastinating until the night before because I've done that so many times and it stresses me out and I just fail to learn my lesson every single time. But this time around, I knew that I wanted to film this video, so here we are. Let's go ahead and chat about the outfits and accessories that I'm wearing, including handbags, footwear, hats, loungewear, swimwear. I have a lot of dresses and of course jewelry, which is going to be a great segue into the sponsor of today's video. It's going to be Lanier and and I've partnered up with them a couple of times in the past and I absolutely love their gold verme jewelry. I'm definitely going to be packing these new pieces so that I can bring them and enjoy them during my holiday. I'll go ahead and make sure to link every product in the description and in the pinned comment as well for easy reference if you wanted to shop the products that I am hauling today. They also so kindly provided a discount code for you to save some money, so I'll go ahead and put that info in there as well. Let's go through the rings first and look at them closely because I. I love the way that these two look. This combination is everything. I'll go ahead and get closer so you can see what it looks like on me. The ring on my middle finger is called the Ariel Dome Ring and it is in gold verme. And same thing with my pointer finger, it's made of gold verme as well. But this one is called the Lillian Ring. I love having rings on my hands because it just makes my manicure pop as well. <laughs> Especially when I'm on vacation, I really love to showcase my jewelry pieces. It just makes me feel a little bit more glammed up. This necklace that I have on is so dainty and precious and it's called the Adara pearl necklace and this is also made of gold verme which is a little can I talk which is awesome I love how teeny tiny the pearls are it just makes it look even more delicate and just very sophisticated romantic I'm definitely going to be wearing this necklace whenever I go out to dinner in my pretty vacation dresses it's going to look so fabulous I'm gonna get up and personal in your space right now because I want to show you what this pearl necklace looks like so sweet. Oh, love it. All of Lanier's jewelry pieces also come in these really cute little pink pouches. They're this like velvety textured pouches to store your jewelry in. You can take these with you when you travel or when you're not wearing them to safe keep as well. A huge thank you goes to Lanier for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Definitely go ahead and check out their jewelry pieces if you're looking for something that's sustainable, ethical, and a lot of amazing gold jewelry pieces, I highly recommend. They have a really wide range of styles as well. So if you're looking for something a little bit more classic or timeless, you can find those, but also modern and trendier pieces as well. Now let's go ahead and jump right back into the pack with me video where I'm gonna show you all the outfits and accessories that I'm gonna be bringing with me on this trip. I'm not gonna go through like every single item because that video would be a million years long as you can tell from the mess I have in the background. Please just show me grace because it's just an absolute mess right now. Eventually everything will end up inside my suitcase, but I'm only going to be bringing a carry-on rolling suitcase and one carry-all personal bag type of situation. If you do want to know all the individual pieces of toiletries, beauty items, things that I take with me in flight, definitely go ahead and check out this video because I show every like little product that I bring with me into the airplane itself. So that one is going going to be your go-to if you are curious what I carry with me in my personal bag. Anyway, that was a long intro. I apologize. Let's go ahead over to the back of the room so I can show you, or maybe I should bring them up to you guys. Yeah, I might do that. I'm gonna try to figure out what the best situation is. The sun is also going down, which is not ideal. Okay, yeah, this works. 
perfect actually. I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you the suitcase that I am going to be bringing with me. It's by Monos and I'll also link this in the description if you're curious, but I love this suitcase. I've been using it for a couple years now and by far it's my favorite. I've tried the Bayes ones, I've tried Calpec, I've tried a couple other ones as well, but this is definitely my favorite. Let me see if I can show you this gracefully. I'm gonna try to lift it up. Okay. So this is the suitcase. Wow, it's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. This is the suitcase that I'm gonna be bring, bringing with me. It's a pretty decent size. I definitely feel like because it doesn't expand, what you see is what you get. But I personally feel like it's very sturdy and durable. Like I said, I've had it for quite some time now and it hasn't failed me. The wheels are going strong. It's pretty quiet and I never struggle with it when I'm rolling it on uneven surfaces. Highly recommend it also has like the lock on the side, which is perfect for security. It comes with a name address tag as well in case your luggage gets lost. The handles are really smooth. I absolutely adore the color because you guys already know I am a tried and true neutrals gal. It literally matches my shirt. <laughs> I did not plan that. So that is the suitcase I'm going to be bringing with me. And then my clothes and undergarments and all of that good stuff are going to go in these packing cubes, also by Monos. I'm not gonna go through all the details of these because I already talked about them in my previous travel packing videos. So definitely go ahead and check those out for more details on these, but these are phenomenal quality packing cubes. They're so good. The fabric is super thick and it really compresses things if you really want to squish your items, but I just love using them for the purpose of organization. These are a must for me. First things first, let's talk about about the swimwear and cover-ups I'm going to be bringing. Obviously, the destination is Punta Cana, so I'm going to bring five pieces of swimwear to last me about four full days because I obviously don't wanna run out of them. I'm not gonna try to wash these during the trip, so there you have it. Also, some of these items might not be available anymore, so I apologize in advance for that but I will try to see if I can link some similar ones if I can find them in time. First, a must have color for swimwear is a classic black because if you have no idea what you're gonna wear and you're not in the mood for color, this is going to be my go-to. And these ones are from Dippin' Daisies and I love their swimwear because their prices are really good. They always go on sale. So definitely check the, them out if you are on the market for some new swimwear for pretty good affordable prices in my opinion. So I have this very simple strappy bikini top and I have the matching black bottoms, which are a little bit cheeky in my opinion, but they're not super revealing. They're not like a thong or anything. The the rest of the swimwear I'm bringing are actually pretty colorful, which I absolutely love. Actually, I'm only bringing four swimwear, which should be okay. These two bikinis are from Kulani Kinis, who I recently discovered, I wanna say last year, and I bought a ton of bikinis from them because they were on sale like when summer ended. So now I'm getting to use all of them this summer. And these ones are super cute. Love the V-shaped bottoms and the floral print. It's very fun and spunky. This top is a little bit more minimal, but I think it's so, so cute. I have very small boobs, so these types of bikini tops work fine on me. That said, Kulani Kinis has a ton of different styles. Definitely check them out as well if you're looking for some really unique and fun bikini styles and trendy pieces. Like I said, this one is also by Kulani Kinis and I absolutely love this kind of ribbed crinkle fabric. It's so forgiving and I just think it looks flattering on everyone. So I have this one. It has a pretty deep V with a very cheeky bottom. So these ones are a little bit out, more out there. And that goes with this bandeau top in the same color and fabric. I love tops like this, especially because it doesn't give you any awkward tan lines. Last but not least, I thought I would bring a one piece swimsuit as well, just in case we wanna do something a little bit more higher impact activities, if you know what I'm saying. Like if we wanna go on an excursion and we're going to be more active, then I definitely want to wear something a little bit more secure. And so I'm bringing this one piece bikini or one piece swimsuit and it's by Airy. I got this so long ago, so it's definitely not available, but Airy, also a great place to shop for bikinis. And this one is very cute. It is still neutral, but I love the print. There are buttons here that are actually 
unbuttonable so you can kind of customize your cleavage action. Okay, awesome. So those are all the bikinis I'm gonna be bringing. In that same realm, I'm going to be bringing two different cover-ups. One is this kind of cottony knit sheer dress situation. It's by Quince and I got this in one of our collaborations in the past and I cannot wait to wear this. I'm so excited for this. Because of the loose knit material, it does show through and people can see your bikini underneath it. So I think this is such a cute cover up and I love the fact that it's a dress and I can just quickly pull this over my head if I wanna get out of, you know, the beach and I wanna be covered. I also always never fail to bring with me this type of button down shirt as a cover up as well. It is by Aritzia and it's in this kind of gauze fabric, which is awesome. It's really comfortable. It feels slightly thicker than your typical poplin button down, but I really love this types of texture for the summer for some reason. It feels very beachy to me. As you can see, it has that kind of crinkled texture material. The length of this shirt is also long enough to cover my bum ever so slightly, so it's a perfect cover up. This can also double up as an actual shirt or a lightweight jacket. If I have on a dress or a minimal top and I'm feeling cold, I can just throw this on kind of like a cardigan. So definitely going to be bringing this with me as my second cover up option. Next, let's move on to dresses. I Can you see me still? I have two dresses to show you and then a mini kind of linen lightweight cardigan to put over them. I'm only bringing two dresses because I am also going to to pack with me a couple choices for bottoms and a couple tops as well in case I'm not feeling a dress. I usually pack one or two more outfits than the number of days that I'm going to be on the trip for just so that I have my bases covered and especially if I'm not feeling one particular outfit one day or the weather is different, then I have another option that I can pull out. I have one kind of really bright and fun summery piece and the other one is more of a timeless classic capsule wardrobe-esque dress. I'll show you the red one first. This is by Petite Studio and I got this as part of a collaboration a while back as well. I think it was a year ago, but I've never worn it and I don't know why because it is a stunning dress. Actually, I do know why. It's because, I mean, look how bright this is. I am super excited to take this opportunity to whip this out and wear it during my holiday because this definitely is very summery. It's flowy. I think it would be perfect for a dinner date when we're at the resort. I love the button detail down the side as well near the bust. And I'm pretty sure you can still get this on their website. So I'll try to see if I can find it. That's the first dress. The second dress I have is by Aritzia, if you haven't guessed. They are the best at creating these types of neutral classic dresses. And this one is linen and I just, I'm in love. It is a very natural flax linen color. It's a very slight v-neck. And I have worn this out before because it's a lot more simple and I guess basic in the best way possible. So this can be dressed up or down and I love the versatility of this one. It'll go with all different sorts of accessories and shoes as well. So I am excited to bring this one. This is definitely like a foolproof dress option for me. Because I'm bringing two strappy dresses, I decided to bring with me a linen lightweight cardigan because I don't wanna get cold inside when the AC is blowing or if I'm in the sun and I'm getting too overheated, I think this is something good to block out some of the sunlight. And this is also by Aritzia. I got it during the clientele sale recently and I haven't worn it since I purchased it. So I'm excited to give this a go. It's kind of a cropped length, which is my favorite for these types of cardigans over dresses specifically. I think it looks the best. It also is a long sleeve and because it's really loose and flowy. I think this is perfect for a summer vacation. It's also semi-sheer and very breathable. I think this will be the perfect match for those dresses. I am going to be bringing with me three pairs of bottoms. I could probably leave one behind, but I'm just trying to be 
more cautious because I tend to really underpack. And I know that's a surprise for some people because I feel like a lot of people would think that I would overpack, but no. I have the opposite issue and I typically underpack and then have to steal other people's, not actually steal, but you know, like borrow other people's clothes, including my husband's. So I'm just trying my best to pack more than I think I need. I'm bringing two pairs of shorts and one longer pair of linen pants. So I'll go through that one first. I have this pair of beautiful olive colored linen pants and it is the perfect length on me. I can wear flats or sandals with these and they still don't drag on the floor and I didn't have to get them hemmed or anything like that. And I'm pretty short. So that was a complete win for me. They have pockets, which is amazing. Very lightweight and because it's linen, super breathable, perfect to put over your bikini or just to wear as an actual outfit. So this one is a must for me because sometimes I don't wanna wear shorts and you know, I just need another option. Sticking with the linen trend, I have this pair of shorts also from Quince. I promise this video is not sponsored by Quince, obviously. This one is also 100% linen and oh my gosh, the stripes are a vibe. This one is just going to be one of those really comfortable pull on shorts and it has drawstrings, very summery and vacation like. So I am excited to wear this as well. I've already worn this a couple of times, just, you know, in my day-to-day -day life. I thought this one would come in handy when I just wanna slip something on really quick. The last pair of bottoms I have are denim shorts because I always feel like a light colored or light wash denim shorts are the most versatile in my summer wardrobe in the sense that they create so many endless <laughs> looks. They just tend to go with everything. It's just one of those things that I need to pack in my suitcase at all times for summer trips. This one is by Aritzia and it's by the Denim Forum brand within Aritzia. And I recently got these as well during the clientele sale and these were so marked down. It's kind of crazy. I think I only spend about $30 on these, which is absolutely bonkers, but I'm so glad that I was able to snatch them. These ones are really nice because they're not booty shorts. They're not super, super short and they're not too distressed where it looks messy. They look more classic and will stand the test of time. So really love these. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's getting a little dark. Hopefully you guys can still see. Moving on to tops. And I think I am bringing one, two, three, four different actual like going out tops where I'm gonna, wow, it is pouring outside. Sorry, I got distracted by the rain. It just all of a sudden started pouring. Hopefully it's not like this in Punta Cana or during our flight. Anyway, I'm bringing two casual tops and two more dressier formal tops as well, just in case we wanna go out to dinner and stuff and take cute photos. But let's start off with the casual tops because it's very simple. This is just a cropped white t-shirt from Aritzia. It's by their TNA line. I've had this for ages and I just love bringing this with me because a crop top that's white, goes with everything. Same goes for this top. It looks really, really tiny because it is, it is tiny. And it is just a bandeau top. I have this one from, I believe, Free People. It's from their Intimates collection, but I'm sure you can find these everywhere. I know Skims has something like this, but this is a cottony, very flexible bandeau top. This is a really great basic to have and it barely takes up any space in my suitcase. So I love bringing this with me as a backup and yeah. It's really good for casual occasions. Like I said, I'm bringing two more formal attire tops and this one is a long sleeve. I have this one from Princess Polly and these ones are long sleeved and in the satin material, which is nice. I am currently obsessed with tops that have this little tie in the middle and you just wear like sticky nipple covers underneath it. It looks so cute. And you can also put this over your bikini top as well. But yeah, I love the fact that it shows a little bit of skin. I think 
think I would wear this with my denim shorts. And then I also have this one, which is very similar in style to the long sleeve one. It's also satin. This one is by Aritzia and I recently got it and I haven't worn it. So I'm super excited to try this out and take some cute photos. This one has a little bit more lace and it still has that tie in the middle, which is cute. And I would just wear this with nipple covers as well. But obviously this one is sleeveless and is slightly a different color. It's more champagne. Alrighty, so hopefully I can wrap this up sooner than later because it's getting absolutely dark. <laughs> in terms of loungewear and sleepwear, I'm just going to be bringing a simple graphic tee, which is awesome because you can also multi-purpose it if you know you just need a casual t-shirt during the trip and you don't want to fuss with any of your other tops. This one is a great one. I have this one from Abercrombie. I can just lounge around with this types of t-shirt on, which is great and comfy. To go with that, I am bringing a boxer that kind of looks like a biker short. And this one is from Hoo Ha. And I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of that brand before, but I love their undergarments and their long boxers, which is this right here. They have a zinc lining around the crotch area, so it's very breathable and it's healthy for your, you know, down there. The fabric is super soft and very stretchy. I love this. I have two of these and then two of the gray colored ones. So I'm just going to be bringing one of them and it's just in the color black. If I wear this with the graphic tee, it just kind of looks like a set and looks like I'm wearing biker shorts, which is nice. In terms of PJs, I'm bringing my new ones and these are cheetah print, which I usually do not get ever. I don't really love prints and loud patterns like this, but for sleepwear, it's fair game. You know what I'm saying? So I have this from Nordstrom and I got it during their Nordstrom anniversary sale. The tensile material, I think that's what it's called, is so smooth and buttery soft. It's very lightweight. I haven't worn this yet, so I'm excited to wear it during the vacation. And this is the top. It has buttons all the way down and the matching bottoms are just these really comfy shorts. Before I move on to the accessories, the only undergarments that I'm bringing are a ton of different types of underwear. Like I'm bringing thongs, but I'm also bringing full briefs just in case that I wanna be more comfortable. In terms of bras, I'm just bringing a regular classic bra and then I'm bringing my sticky nipple covers for minimal tops like the ones that tie in the front and stuff like that because you can't wear a regular bra with those. Let's talk about accessories because I know we're here for the handbags, the hats, I mean all of it. I'm just bringing one hat and this is a wide brim hat from Solberry, Solbero. I forgot the brand's name, but I'll go ahead and link it below. I love their hats. I think I have a total of three different styles from them. This one is like my most worn neutral color hat, which has an adjustable back. So you can make it a little bit more comfortable, customize it to fit your head best. And it also has a string that you can adjust the length of as well so it doesn't fly off of your head when it's a little bit windy. And obviously the function is great because it shields your face from the sun, which is important because I want to do everything that I can in my power to avoid sun aging and sun damage for my skin. I'm actually bringing my fanny pack on the flight because this is where I'll bring my passport, my keys, wallet, ID, cash if I'm bringing cash for the trip. I have lip balm, sunglasses, and my phone. So I'm going to have this on me, like on my chest mounted there <laughs> during the entire flight process, like getting checked in and everything. So I have all of my essentials with me on hand, very accessible and yeah, convenient. For the actual beach, I'm going to bring with me my truffle clear bag right here. It is a crossbody, but you can also adjust it so it fits around your waist as a belt bag. This will also be perfect for me to bring with me around the resort and to the beach and everything where water is involved because obviously this is a clear case and it's super easy to clean. It's see-through so you can see what is inside. It's super convenient. I've used it a ton to the pool. Now I'm gonna be bringing with me to the beach. 
This bag is from Madewell and I'm bringing this with me as my kind of small to medium sized crossbody bag. This fits my essentials and more, like it fits my Kindle, my sunglasses, full size sunscreen, bug spray, phone, all of that stuff. So don't let the small size of it fool you because the capacity is really good. The base is pretty wide and obviously this is a kind of like a basket weave bag so it looks very summery and on brand for this vacation. Because the colors are neutral, it'll go with absolutely all the different looks that I'm bringing with me today or tomorrow. For the days where I need to bring a towel with me and even more stuff, especially to the beach, I'm gonna be bringing a bigger tote bag. And this one I actually got for free from Cezanne because I shopped at their DC location and they gave me this really cute yellow tote bag. So I thought this would be perfect. It's very thin and lightweight, so it'll barely take up any space in my luggage. So love this one. Gonna bring this with me in case I wanna bring my towel and water bottle, all these additional things with me to the beach. Last but not least, I think I might bring my wristlet from Celine. And obviously this one barely carries anything. I think I would only bring this to like more fancy dinners if we do go to them. I'm really not sure about the restaurant situation over there, but in case I don't wanna bring any of my bigger bags or the beachy clear case truffle bag, then I could just bring with me this one because it looks a little bit more dressier and just less casual than all the other ones that I'm going to be bringing. This also fits all of my essentials, like my wallet, keys, lip balm, and my phone I'll just carry in my hand. So this one is very useful. I use this all the time at home, but yeah, I might just bring this with me just in case. Oh my gosh, we almost forgot about shoes. Thank you for reminding me. To the airport, I think I'm going to be wearing my Vejas. And it's because some of the excursions require you to wear closed toed shoes and we are just not sure yet if we're going to sign up for those or not. So just in case I'm bringing my white sneakers, I love these ones from Veja. They're super comfortable and it's the Esplar styles. They also go with every single outfit because they're just so slim and minimal. Love these. The other two shoes that I'm gonna be bringing are these Birkenstocks that I recently purchased from Nordstrom. And these ones are the waterproof version Birkenstocks. When I first started wearing these, I wasn't sure if they were going to be as comfortable as my normal Birkenstocks with like the suede material or even the leather, but oh my gosh, I am so happy with these. I'm glad that I bought these actually for this trip. The price was also really good. They're waterproof, so I can bring these to the beach with me and just wear them literally all the time because I don't have to worry about these getting wet or ruined or anything like that. For a more dressier shoe option, but still casual, like you can still wear these on a day to day. I am bringing my Cezanne strappy sandals in this beautiful brown color. And I love these so, so much. They're very, very comfortable in my opinion, even if they are very flat. I think this will be perfect for all the dresses that I'm bringing with me and for when I want my footwear to be a little bit more chic and dressed up, but still comfortable. These are going to be amazing. Now that we're at the end of this video, definitely go ahead and check out my travel essentials video right here. You'll find a lot of great products in case you're also going on vacation soon. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Again, a huge thank you goes to Lanier for collaborating with me on this video. Make sure to check out all the information in the description box and pinned comment. Show them some love and use my discount code to save some money. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you wanna stick around and I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye.